swaying in your backswing will kill your ball striking and distance. Let's get it fixed. I often hear clients saying, how do I fix my sway, Stuart? A sway is when the body and the lower half moves laterally. In a backswing, we've all heard, I've got to load into my right side to push off and move forwards. Loading into the right side is certainly up for debate how we do that. But let's not linger on that for too long. The two ingredients that really kill a backswing are keeping your head down or keeping your head still, keeping your head over the golf ball, and then the golfer tries to transfer their weight into their right side. So golfers then don't want to move their head off the ball, and then they do want to shift their weight. So you get this head over the ball, shift your weight into your right side, which now gets the right hip hitched up. It would be okay if you felt like you moved your weight off to the right side and you actually allowed your head to go with it. That might give you a bit more opportunity to create some rotation. But the lion's share of sways come from, as I say, hip across, head still, and all of a sudden, you get this arm plane that gets lifted up. How do we fix it? Well, the first thing that you want to do is get yourself set up to the golf ball and now get your golf club and put it on the inside of your right boot, your right shoe. Then take your left hand and now make a backswing. What you're now looking to do is to get your right hip to move away from this club shaft. And then I'm gonna put my left hand and I'm gonna allow it to suck my left shoulder onto my right shoe. So as I now make a backswing, I've now got the sensation that this right hip can move away from this golf club. And then I'm gonna use this left hand to pull me into my right side. So my left shoulder swings around and I'm almost now gonna to start to look at the golf ball diagonally towards the target. But I'm gonna feel like I can get my right hip tucked under. So I then go back to the golf ball. I'm now gonna think about that club shaft still sat there and I'm gonna really start to try to get my right hip tip tucked in from that club shaft and my head across. Now from there, I've got myself rotated, a little bit more centered, and my arm swing here will now start to feel like it's a little lower. From there, you've got a much better opportunity to start to move towards the golf ball. What you'll see is your club path will start to move more from the inside, and your attack angle might start to reduce. Because whenever you have a golfer that has swayed across lifted his arms up, that elevation in the arm, even if they were to cast it, would still create an angle of attack down. But because Trapman's only measuring the descent angle of the club head, it's not measuring how you're actually using your levers. So then, when you then start to make a good hip turn, a good backswing, and now you start to unload the golf club, all of a sudden, you might start to get a few drop kicks. And at that point, I would strongly recommend you watching my video, You Need This Drill video, which is up in the top right hand corner of the screen. That will really change the way you use your arms and the pressure points in your arms and golf club. So to, if you're tired of paying too much for premium leather golf gloves, do head over and check out my channel sponsor, GX Golf Gloves. These gloves are trusted by elite amateurs and tour players alike. Use my code, Good Coaching to receive 10% on your next order. To recap then, pop the club on the inside of your right foot for those right-handed golfers. Get your left hand and allow it to pull your chest across whilst keeping your hip moving away from that golf club. Tuck in, chest across, swing down, and you'll start to really get a much better, cleaner contact. And hopefully, just hopefully, you'll start to feel more hip rotation, less sway for better striking and more consistency. 
Thanks so much for watching, and I think you'll find that, my friends, is good coaching.